C1. You are listening at FameTV.info. My name is Zhang Wen, I'm an honest, rural child that I in July, when school was open for the summer, I went home to help with the farm work after finishing my day in the fields, I rested for a while and prepared to go home. On the way home, I heard about the Wang Yuxian secret, Wang Yuxian is a girl who always came to play with me when I was young. My impression of her always stopped at the word, pure. Since she was young, she had always been simple and beautiful. A woman like this lived in a village and was the focus of attention wherever she went that I in the past, I had heard of people pointing fingers at Wang Yuxian, their words were all over the place, but I never cared, however, he didn't know why, but he wanted to know more. As I walked, I lamented in my heart. Wang Yuxian actually did such a thing, after returning home, I kept thinking about what happened just now and didn't have the mood to eat. After thinking for a long time, I decided to find Wang Yuxian, she was cleaning the yard when I arrived, when she saw me, she smiled and greeted me. Wen Zi, why have you come? I'll take you to play after I finish cleaning the courtyard, I started to say yes, but the words hung on my lips and I said no, men were always disturbed by something, such as thoughts and images that they shouldn't have. I took a deep breath and said with incomparable seriousness, Jade Immortal, I've heard some things about you today. It's about you and the man from the village next door, after I finished speaking, Wang Yuxian Deng's eyes went round. She didn't dare believe that I could say those words. In her mind, I was an obedient child, she bit her lips lightly, tightly gripped the broom with her little face flushed red. Wen Zi, do you believe these words too? Is sister that kind of person? Looking at Wang Yuxian, I was curious about those things. With an evil smile on my face, I said, Jade Immortal, if you tell me what happened, I won't tell anyone. Otherwise, I will let the whole village know. How, she didn't waste any time with me. She walked over and gave me a slap on the face that I was stunned that I never thought that the Wang Yuxian would attack me, originally, I should be the one questioning her. The moment I got angry, I ruthlessly gave her a push, she cried out and retreated a few steps to sit on the ground that I was a boy, after all, with more strength than she did. What do you think you are in the eyes of others? Just a broken shoe. In front of me. Let me tell you, I've seen many women like you in the city. In an instant, two streams of hot tears rolled down Wang Yuxian's beautiful face, she glared at me. Wen Zi, big sis treats you as my best friend. Is that how you think of me? Humph, think of me as your best friend and just give me a slap on the face. Then forget it. Looking at her tearful appearance, I felt some pity, but I forced myself to say it, Wang Yuxian cried even harder, the new clothes were all covered with dust that I resisted the urge to go over and help her up, flinging my sleeves and leaving, the more I thought about it, the angrier I got. The next day, I told the whole village about the Wang Yuxian. The next day, I heard that Wang Yuxian's father had beaten her up. She even cursed a few nasty words at her, which caused a lot of people in the village to go and watch that I was among them, she naturally couldn't stay here. When she heard that her family had sent her to the city to work in order to hide from others, it didn't take long before school started as well. This matter had left Feng Chen in my heart. Two years later, like most rural children, I, who had graduated from high school and failed to get into college, chose to stay in the city and work for money that I do not have a diploma to ability, basically there is no place to use me, but I can only go to a fellow village friend to introduce me to a restaurant to work. But when I saw the landlady on my first day, my eyes widened that IT was summer, and she was wearing a small coat. Her white, clean skin was exposed to the air, and she stood there, tall and slender, looking at me coldly, even in my dreams, I would never have thought that this person would actually be the Wang Yuxian that I harmed in the past, her face was painted with makeup and she had a relaxed expression. However, her face was extremely beautiful. However, there wasn't any warmth in her eyes as she looked at me. I presume your friend has already told you about the treatment here. How about it? Do you want to do it or not? She didn't seem to recognize me at that moment that I quickly agreed and said I would do it. Then go to work. 
She didn't seem to want to waste any more words with me and waved her hands in annoyance that I was able to take care of food and shelter here, but the staff lived upstairs, so I changed into my work clothes and prepared to go into my work. She didn't want her to remember what had happened that year, but at this moment, the Wang Yuxian pushed open my door, and the temperament that only the lady boss could have instantly erupted forth. Zhang Wen, go and wash the floor in front of the door, she said coldly. What? Wash the place. I'm here to be a waiter, not a cleaner. Besides, how was he going to wash this place? It's fine if you don't wash up, but if you leave now, who knows how many rural kids will want to do this job of yours. Her eyes were filled with disdain, and there was even a hint of playfulness in them now that I gritted my teeth. I knew that she was trying to take revenge on me, who told me to be so unlucky as to have to work under her that I stubbornly looked at Wang Yuxian for a while, and in the end, I unwillingly took a mop of cloth and a bucket and walked out, this wash lasted for an entire day, the dark ground was splashed with water again and again, and dried again and again. I was like a walking corpse, it wasn't easy for me to survive this painful day. When I finished working at night, Wang Yuxian's words made me feel like a deflated ball. How did you wash this place? It's not clean at all. Wash it again in the morning. With that, she left. Bro, what happened to you? At this moment, a low voice could be heard that I turned my head to see that the person who spoke was the waiter who worked with me in the restaurant, Li Hu. He was also from the country, but he came here half a year before me. Because he was too good at pretending, everyone called him acting who that I wasn't in a good mood when I saw him that he knew that I was mopping the floor here, so why did he ask? What if I had to make a joke, seeing that I ignored him, he walked over and chuckled. Bro, I know you must be in a bad mood right now, right? You still want to ask? I gave him a hard look, his two big black eyes were flashing with an extremely vulgar light, causing me to unconsciously become vigilant. The key is in the restaurant in Wang Yuxian, why would such a person come in, even if he didn't do anything, when he stood in the crowd, he would feel that he wasn't a good person that a face like a crime, this person, if he was long, he would suffer a loss that he glanced at his big black mouth and said, do you know? I knew it from the moment you came in. What did you see? I simply put down the mop that he put his mouth to my ear and said, I think. Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.